What up, everybody? It's Joe from Complex. We're in Philly at Lapstone and Hammer with Ray Shrummer. Shrum Life. Gonna do some sneaker shopping today. Gonna see what they're feeling, what they're not, and then hopefully they're gonna buy some sneakers. Let's go. Something that's not common, you guys actually had two endorsement deals already, Reebok and Puma. What's the biggest difference between those two deals? The shoes. Two different styles, yeah. Two yeah. different yeah. shoes, two different sways. Uh, both they both show a lot yeah. of love, both yeah. Both of love, like. 50, 60 yeah. shoes coming to our doorstep when we wake up yeah. to check the mail. 50, 60 boxes of shoes. They're showing love, big love. Yeah, What's it like to wake up and you see 60 shoes? You're like, man. You start picking you gotta fit, Yeah, you gotta figure out your outfit, you, man. you gotta go shopping. Closet. Yeah, matching it up. Lay it out. I got the soldieries on right now. Yep. We still do it like um, high school, you know how you lay your fit on the bed? Yeah. We get the 50, 60 shoes, you pick the one you like, hop in the shower, jump straight into it. Another thing you guys said actually in a complex interview, you know, we see Futures Reeboks here. You said, we're the new ball players. We sell the shoes. Do you feel that way that, you know, yeah. artists are really becoming the new influencers? Yeah, music has just become so big. And like, like, like all the young people, they're always looking at artists, Instagram, everything, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So we they want to wear what we wear and they want to wear what artists is wearing. Our taste different, you know what I'm saying? We can spot the spot, most five stuff. The most fire yeah, here. We make the most creative our taste, stuff. Yeah, like, taste yeah the crazy. jewelry. And we put it out there, we rock it different ways. Yeah, like you said, these them futures. Yeah. Hold up. You gotta pump them up. Are them clean? Yeah. Yeah. Hold up. Them fur cases. You already know what's going on. Shrimp Life Reebok. The Shrimp Life Reebok. It's the Pump Furies. I'm going hiking with these, you know what I'm I really have wore these shoes with some Gucci pajamas, man. Yeah. It was super clean. It was super fresh. One thing I really respect about you guys, I read that you guys hustled candy growing up. Yeah. What were you doing with that money that you were saving up? All into trying music? Trying to live, trying to live. Yeah. And just help help around the house. Man, we were selling Starburst, yeah. we were selling um, Airheads, 25 cent of Airhead, we were selling um, what, Skittles. Variety Maybe. pack of all the chocolate. You know, you used to Snickers, go to Sam's Club. I don't know, you know Sam's Club? Yeah, yeah. Man, you used to go to Sam's Club, get the boxes, man. We Sam's Club was the plug. And then you would just like flip them for a little bit more than. Yeah. What about Jordans? Obviously, everyone growing up has a Jordan story. Do you guys remember getting Jordans early? I had the bunnies. Okay. I had the, the bunnies. Yeah, and I had to cry to get them. You know what I'm saying? I had one of them so bad. I was in the store. I was mad. I was crying. I got the bunnies. That was my only pair of Jordans I ever had before I was a rapper. You and know did what you saying? wear them nonstop? Or Man, what? I wore them things every. I had messed them up so fast because I just wasn't used to having Jordans. So I just wore them everywhere. I wore them to the bathroom. I wore them to the <laughs> kitchen. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. One of my homies, like he used to have. He was a spoiled kid. Like his mom used to always get him hella Jordans. Yeah. Buying him Jordans. So. Like at one point, like I would like buy his old Jordans okay. for a certain price. You know what I'm saying? Like nice. That's 60 good. bucks. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting his old Jordans, cleaning them up, wearing them. You know what I'm saying? Respect that. Talk about another homie's collection. Mike Will, crazy collector, right? Uh, Mike Will got all he the, the real ones. Jordan. Yeah. Mike, Mike Will's a Mike real Will sneaker. Got yeah. every one known to man. He got all these. Mike like, Will's a real. He's sneaker. a big yeah, yeah, big Jordan. We be doing probably this thing. Has... We be doing this thing on Instagram. We all check. Our, we check in with our shoes. Mike Will probably got like yeah. five hundred thousand dollars worth. That's crazy. At least. That's crazy. Of Jordans. I wish I wore the same size though. Now, one thing I remember, you used to do like kicks of the day all the time. What yeah. did you do with all the other shoes that aren't Reebok or, you know, a deal that you were in? Keep all the shoes. Like my closet is crazy. Like okay. the kicks of the day, we showing y'all the That's hottest kicks. bring that back. We showing y'all like, no, yeah, I still you, do it. I still you do, you do it. I still do it a little bit. Okay. I still do it like, but I don't be like kicks of the day, but I just show them my feet. But like kicks of the day, I'm going to show y'all all the hottest sneakers. Kicks of the day, Soldier Reese. <laughs> Yeah. Kicks of the day. Shout out to Juvenile. Burberry. <laughs> Kicks of the day. Burberry flip flops. It's very important that you do not do the Gucci flip flops. These are Burberry flip flops. You brought up Juvenile. You remember Cash Money back in the day? They were like first on Reebok. Yeah, they was big on every Reebok. The Soldier, the Soldier yeah. Juvenile, that's my, that's my the homie, so you know what I'm saying? He was talking to me one time about how he used to always rock the Soldier yeah. Reeves. He was like the only one wore the Reeboks like that. It's and true. Then, they, they were the first. Yeah, yeah, that was so tight. It was so tight. I love Juvenile. You said your first biggest purchase, unfortunately, a fake Rolex. Yes. And you won't go to the mall anymore. Oh my God, I went to the mall. You know, I wasn't used to that. I went and How bought that, that Rolex and then I jumped in a pool and water you? was all on the inside of my Rolex. Now we were but, sure wondering, how did it get not, foggy up in there? Hold up, but that's not what was so bad though. 
Then we go to take the, the World X picture with Meek Mills and like everybody, like we was on a bus, we was on a tour bus rapping with Man. Meek Mills. Everybody took the, we took a Rolex picture. My Rolex got fog all on the thing. I'm like, oh man. Oh no. <laughs> it's all good though. Did you ever mistakenly buy fake sneakers? No, no, no. Man, bro, this dude, I'm in Miami. I'm messing around with the Yeezys. I want some Yeezys, bro. Dude pull up with the Yeezys. I pay him a rap. I'm excited about there. these Yeezys, bro. Feezys. <laughs> I'm excited oh, no. about these feezies. So I get on Twitter, bro. You know, they be on it. Them Yeezys, they know the real, yep. They, yep. the stitching. They know the stitching. Yeah, they be looking with the eyes. Yep. Yep. So I'm sitting up on the thing on the pool table. Clean, too. Everybody taking me on them fake Yeezys. Them fake Yeezys. He's like, no, they not. I'm like, man, look at this. Man, I paid a thousand dollars for these. Yeah. The stitching is, is 473 stitches. It's supposed to be 479. That's what they do. Yep. I'm like, yo. I don't just sit here. I don't. threw them shits at the wall. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? 473. <laughs> then I looked at my homies' real Yeezys and it, I could see the difference myself. It happened. And I was like, wow. Wearing Burberry sandals, you guys wear a lot of high fashion sneakers as well. Yeah. What are this section? You know, we have Golden Goose, we have the John Geiger, Vizvim from Japan. What are some of your favorites here? Oh man. I can tell you right now that these right here are the craziest right here. Golden Goose. You wear these right here with some light blue jeans and some white, a white top, man, you really gonna be making a big statement. Like, the ladies, like, you're gonna be a chick magnet. If you walk in with these things right here, you're gonna be a chick <laughs> magnet. These you just wear on a cool day, you know what I'm saying? You might roll your, your jeans up, show your little white two socks, you know what I'm saying? You clean. <laughs> you, uh, you're breaking me by. <laughs> <laughs> hold up, hold up, man. You know no I'm problem. a weirdo. John Geiger. No I'm a weirdo, bro. I'm gonna come through in something that nobody ever seen oh, and no. they never heard of before. That's what I like to do. I like Wait. to find the just most rarest shit. Oh, I yeah. think kill animals to make those, bro. But that, see, I, don't, I wasn't a part of that process, but you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, man. Hey, man, I just love these shoes. I think they real cool, you know what I'm saying? Well, we talked about everything. Now's the easy part. Get the browser shell, see what you're gonna take home. Ooh. Now that's for real. That's the hard part. I'm definitely getting these because uh what am I wear? Uh golden goose. Ease. Ease. <laughs> <laughs> Say that, man. All our well rebar. <laughs> mm, mm. But look, I got designer socks on though. I can't even allow you guys to sleep on these or these, these are my favorite shoes. Great minds think alike. These are crazy with the metal. $30.85. All I do is swipe. <laughs> Complex, man, we got the flyest shoes in the world. Complex, I oh, snap. <laughs> <laughs> So, Ray Shremmer, thanks so much for coming through. <sighs> no problem. Make sure you check out the new album, Shrem Life 3, and the tour, This Is America, coming to a city near you. Shrem Life. Yeah, make sure you stop by Lapstone and goddamn Hammer 2, Shrem Life. <laughs>